custom car connoisseurs, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. In this episode, we're going to do another one of the story missions. We have the Sakura Moon. Hi, a while back I got a car, which just recently stopped working. I have no idea what happened, as I don't know much about cars. My ex-wife says that I'm a loser, but driving cars is not. As they say, rocket, surgery, or was it brain science? Um, anyway... See what bits are missing and what it needs to be fixed. Alright. Well, that's interesting to say the least. My guy was evidently trying to move around when... Okay, so we're missing some panels on the car here. That's obvious enough. Alright, so we've got a bunch of parts there. Change oil. That's not a problem. We need these... <laughs> <laughs> replaced, so we'll go ahead and get those. Alright, so let's go ahead and move this over to the lift. And let's start with the outside car parts. Did you drive this through a forest? I mean, look at all these scratch marks. Alright, so we need which parts? Right bumper, rear bumper, right tail light, left headlight, front left fender. Alright, so let's go in here. Let's go to Body Shop. Let's go to Sakura. Sakura Moon. Alright, so we need the right tail light. The back bumper. There we are. The front left fender. And the front left headlight. Now let's go ahead and start putting these on. Nice new headlight here, or rear light, nice bumper, put that fender on, even though it's the wrong color, can't wait till when we can start painting things so we can actually make everything look good together. Alright, so the outside of the car is now taken care of, perfect, so that's all done with. Next thing I want to do is get this car up in the air. Actually, let's see, before we do that, let's drop it down all the way. See if I can take it to the test track. I'm guessing it doesn't run. I'm really guessing it doesn't run. But let's try anyways, just to be on the safe side. Uh, test path, yeah. Can't start engine. That's what I figured. But as I said, might as well check it. Uh, we also are going to need to see... We're gonna drain the oil out of it here. Probably a sludge. Um, there is no oil in it, pretty much. Yeah, there's no oil in this vehicle. That would be a major part of the problem here, probably. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see. Thing I want to see: repair with minimal parts condition 100%. All right, so, and let's see. Yeah, we've got to repair a lot here. Let's go ahead and just tear the entire engine apart. Rebuild it from scratch, pretty much. Because I have a feeling once we get the engine repaired, then we're going to find out what other issues there are. I was wanting to look at, but you know what? We'll take it off because we're taking everything off here. And even if I 
I'm just replacing pretty much everything here. This this is just a wreck. Like, how do you allow your car to be this way? Uh, I agree with his wife that he's not very handy. I mean, I'm not the most handy person in the world, but seriously, this is just embarrassing. Probably should look at the filter here. We're just gonna take everything out. <laughs> it just gives me more room to work. And right now, that seems like a good thing, because this is pretty bad. I mean, I have a feeling that the main issue is he ran it out of oil. But you've got a nice high performance engine and you're gonna just murder it by running it out of oil. It's ridiculous. Now I do see that a lot of other parts on the car, brakes, everything like that, probably need work as well. My plan here is in this episode I'm gonna completely redo the engine and then probably we're gonna need a second episode for this vehicle in which I will work on the other parts of the car. So what we'll do is we'll get the engine taken care of this episode so we can get it on the test path and stuff. Then we can see what else is wrong with it. <laughs> right, now we can go under the car. see what it says to replace here. I'm going to try to be good and not blow a ton of money if I don't have to. But yeah, this is pretty pathetic. <laughs> Alright. Now we can drop the car down. Pull those parts out. A little bit annoying how it's seeing through the thing to a part that I'm not trying to get to. There we go. Spent nearly 10 minutes just on the uh, teardown of this because of the amount of work that's needed. What is holding it in? Oh, of course, the gearbox. Alright, so we're going to have to take the tires off. I mean, I guess we will start 
<laughs> replacing parts thoroughly here because we had to take it all off anyways. I'm just going to take those parts off for now. I have a strong feeling I'm not finding all of the parts that are actually needing to be replaced. Because I think a lot in the muffler and everything else probably also needs to be replaced. Really, I'm trying to focus on the engine. But, got to get this stuff off in order to get to that engine. That I'm gonna have to go into the engine bay for. Get the starter off. Pull this gearbox off. You should just be embarrassed. Still don't know how to use this engine stand. I think we might need an engine hoist. Do we have an engine hoist? Yes, we do. Let's see if we can use this. We're going to try to do this differently this time. I'm going to try to actually use the engine mount. Right, so we've unmounted the front exhaust. So let's try using the hoist. Get it out. Put it over there onto the... Uh, Alright, so we got it out. We'll leave that here for now. Alright, let's move this. Why is it... Okay, so engine into crate works there. That's sort of interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and take engine from crate. So this is called a crate for no apparent reason. All right, let's move that out of the way for right now. Um, let's see. We still have a few parts not discovered, but that's fine. All right, the engine head. So the engine itself evidently is okay. So let's go to our parts here. Let's put them in order of condition. All right, so that's, all this stuff is junk. So let's go up to starter and see if starter's the... <coughs> Alright, so starter's on the list. I have a feeling... Let's see. So exhaust manifold cover is the weakest of the pieces that I left. Is that on the list? No, it is not the 
intake manifold is, but the other part is not. So intake manifold, where was it? It's right here. So basically all the red parts is what I need to replace. All right, so that's good to know. So basically if it's a red part, then we need to replace it. So let's go ahead and put everything in by name now, and we'll go ahead with air filter and belt tensioner as our first two parts. Gotta go to the home page here. that garbage away and throw that garbage away. All right, so we need a brake servo and a cam and two camshafts. That, that, and that also. So there's, that's all good there. These are not in the red. We need an engine head for an I-4. I have a feeling this is going to be an expensive part. Engine head. I-4. Nine hundred dollars. Figured that was gonna be expensive. Yeah. All right. Now we need a fuel rail DI. Fuel rail DI. There we go. All right, we need an idle roller and then three ignition coils. Idle roller A and three ignition coils. Idle roller A. Spell it right, it helps. There we go. Ignition. And we need three of these. All right, so these can go away. Intake manifold I4D1. Intake manifold. I for D. Spelling is important. There we go. sure this is the right one because there was quite a few with similar names. Then we need a new oil filter and new oil pan for the I-4. Oil I-4. There's the oil filter. And is it going to be an I-4? I-4. Again, verify that these parts are correct. Yep. And then we need three piston rings and three pistons with Conrod. Like I 
assistant. Three of those. And three of these. Only three. There we go. Trying to save them as much money as I can be, as this is a huge bill as it is. So if parts don't technically need to be replaced, we're leaving them for right now. I haven't decided to try this stand out though, see how this works. That's going to be sort of cool. Finally got it to work properly. Serpentine belt A and B both need to be replaced, so we'll do that. Serpentine belt. Yeah. Serpentine belt. A. It's going to evidently say more to it, and I did not realize that. No, it's not. Serpentine belt A. Serpentine belt A. There we go. Seventeen belt B. There we go. All right. All the spark plugs are bad, which is fine. They're cheap. Wow, my spelling today is just really off. It also is one of those, I don't know how people can really play this game too well with just a joystick, because really being able to type is important for this game. I mean, I go back and forth. Some games I like playing with the uh, Xbox controller. But a game like this, I just find keyboard and mouse is so much better. Alright, so we need a starter and a timing belt. I'm going to wait, or starter and throttle I for. We'll do those first. Throttle, I4, there we go, starter, and we need a timing belt. Alright, so we got those three things off the list. And we need a turbocharger. The thing that makes this car cool was that it was turbocharged and that's broken on it. There we go. Brand new one. Perfect. Alright. So now let's try out this little stand here. Let's create a new engine on this. Oh, not a new engine. Add an engine crate. Okay, so it does all the stuff that we've bought parts for. Alright. There we go. Alright, so we can go ahead and mark, mount these parts. Even if they're floating in midair. Does make it so much simpler to mount parts though, because of the fact that I can then just walk around them here.
let's actually use the bad one. Put it in there. Oh yeah, this works so much nicer this way. Definitely gonna have to do this in the future. Should be able to get the whole bottom of the engine done, buttoned up, and closed up, and then I can rotate the entire engine on the stand to make it easier to work on the top. Glad I figured out how to make this work in the game, though, because I said it really is saving me a lot here. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the oil pan on. Let's go ahead and get out of that for a moment. Let's go with this and actually like that. That's the way I want it. Let's go ahead and put the flywheel on. Perfect. Put the clutch plate there. Put the pressure plate. Definitely working in narrow conditions here, but that works fine. If it'll allow me to put the parts on, I will. Put our new engine head on. Our new camshafts go in. Along with our new fuel rail. This is so much easier to work on the vehicle this way. I find it hysterical that part of this engine looks like it's ready for the dumpster and another part of this engine is brand new. Again, not the way I'd like to do things, but it is what the customer needs. Alright, let's see what we still have in our list here. We have the parts for the engine bay, but 
all the stuff for the car, for the most part, is now on the engine. So I'd say let's go ahead and... I wonder, does it show that the engine's... No, it doesn't show the engine's okay yet. Alright, so let's get that hoist. Let's move it back to bay one. And now do I use this? Alright, so I have to take it off the gear still first. There is no more parts to mount while it's on here, it looks like. So, let's go ahead, go to the engine stand, take off engine from... There we go. Alright, now, install the engine. Engine's put back in. Alright, so then let's go ahead and move this back to where it goes. Is this where that goes? Yeah, I guess it is. for that. Under the car. Put in what we can from up here first. Get this reinstalled in the car. New air filter. Oh, I wish there was a game like this for something like surgery or something. I think that could be really entertaining. I know there's like surgery simulator out there and stuff, but yeah, for those who have watched those type of games, they are not exactly the same as this by any means. Uh, they're more meant to be silly almost. Where this, I'd say, is more actual details. And I like it that way. Alright. So that's on. Oh, we gotta get the turbocharger from the engine bay. But for now, let's go ahead and go with this uh, clutch here and the uh, gearbox. Starter there. I'm like just trying to get myself where I need to be. Drive shafts in. Front axle. Now, I know these wheels and everything will probably have to come back off, but it's just one of those, I'm putting them on right now so that that way I can test the car. That's the whole point here. I realize that there's damage or issues in these areas. I'm just not worried about those right now. This episode was particularly about the engine. And I'd say it's been very successful for that. I feel like we have pretty much gotten the engine back in running order, which is good. Alright, so what we have left is just the starter and the turbocharger, and we should be good as far as the engine then. Get that turbo put back in place. All bright and new under all this rusty stuff. this starter. There we go. Alright. Now, in theory here, yeah. Oh, it says we have an ignition coil we still need to replace. And we have to do the other piston with a conrot. Oh, that is annoying. 
Well, you know what, though? We did three of the piston rings, so I'm thinking it's just hasn't registered it yet. But we'll see. For one, am I allowed to now move this over to the test path? To not start the engine. So I'm going to have to redo those parts still. All right. Well, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and finish up this particular episode. Because we're going to have to pull this engine evidently back out again. Very frustrating in that way. But sometimes evidently it's going to be that way. I probably should have just replaced all the ignition coils and all the uh, pistons at the same time. Let me see if I can just cheat it real fast. Take out that ignition coil. Buy one more and see if that'll fix the issue. Ignition coil. There we go. We'll buy one more for them. Fine. We can add that in easy enough. Now the ignition coil should be taken care of. We still have parts that we aren't sure of. But that will, as I said, probably come in the next episode. Will the car start now is the question. Or is the pistons going to be an issue? Yep, pistons are going to be an issue. So, for next episode, we'll pull it out, we'll pull those pistons out, and we'll deal with those. But for now, if you enjoy what the work that we did in this episode, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you. And I hope to see you all again for more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018.